What's poppin' everyone? It's Holly the Twister Sister here, and I have way too many balloons. Maybe you have this problem as well. Today I'm gonna show you exactly how I organize all of these inflatable noodles. So I'll be doing just my 160 collection today. I take a, I have a pile of 160s here that I'm going to sacrifice and cut them all in half to make twisty little 160 rubber bands. So I don't have to use any other supplies to wrap up my balloons. So I just take a bag of balloons and dump them out and we're going to start organizing. So you just want to make sure that you get all your balloons with the nozzle ends together. Uh, some people do this upside down. I prefer to find all the nozzle ends and hold those little guys and just gather them up. Usually I just do one color at a time, but if you're a mixed color fan, you just dump all your colors together <laughs> It'd get a little crazy. So once you've gone a while, your little bundle will grow and grow. Sweet bundle of balloon joy. <laughs> and once you have all of your balloons in that color or the bag that you're doing, I like to just kind of pick out some of the stragglers that have gotten a little too tall and make sure everybody is somewhat even across the top. And we'll take one of our little 160 rubber bands and I just put it around once and then twice. So it's not too tight, so you can easily pull balloons out of your bundle when you wanna use them, um, but it's tight enough to hold them together. Now, this is where I recycle. I'm gonna take an empty bag, the bag that these balloons actually came out of, and we're gonna use that to make a balloon burrito, or as I call them, balloonitos. So I just use that bag to roll up my bundle. Check out this smoke action. Oh, so good. <laughs> you gotta have a little fun when you're doing a monotonous long task like this. So if your balloons are making smoke, have some fun with it. And then I take another 160 rubber band and just one of those will tie the whole thing together. And that will just stay like that. So this can be a long process, but I actually find it to be kind of relaxing and it's a nice time to meditate. So um, just make a day of it, grab all your balloons and throw them on the couch and just go through and bundle them up by colors. And at the end of the day, you're going to be so satisfied and so relaxed. Look at that, look at that. All right, so there we go. We're just bunching them up with our little 160 rubber bands. Waste not, want not. We use that balloon bag and just roll them on up. Now I do prefer the Vitalitex bags for this purpose, just cause their plastic seems to be a little more heavy duty. And the bags are nice and even because of the rip off top. So it makes a nice square, it makes a good balloonito. <laughs> so we're gonna just wrap this one up with a 160 rubber band. And as you go through this process, you'll see all of your bundles stack up until you have this beautiful rainbow of balloon hidey holes. It's like a coral reef. It's like a like a some sort of a game or puzzle. All these nozzles sticking out of all different colors. I love it. It's so satisfying. <laughs> So once you've admired your work for the day, uh, you're going to want to grab all of your bundles and this is where I load them into one of my balloon bags. I've tried many different balloon bags in my career. Um, this one here is the jam backpack that we sell at Twister Sister Studios and this will hold quite a lot of balloons as you'll see. It's going to be my 160 and 350 bag. So you just load them in your bag. You don't need to wrap the bundles together. I like them to be loose so I can pull out individual ones and restock them as I see certain colors getting lower. So that's how I do it. Here's my bag of all 260s. Thanks, bagaloon.com. And so that's what all the 260s look like. These were placed in a little more carefully, kind of organized by rainbow order. And then those 160s I just threw in for the video because I only had one free hand. <laughs> so look how fabulous. It's just so satisfying. Ah, yes. 